Good evening, everybody. I'm Ben Eistek, president of FASA. We're here in the hall for our gala event, gala evening tonight of the 2023 AGM and convention of the Professional Hunters Association of South Africa. Our convention were divided into three parts. We start off on Thursday evening with a welcoming cocktail party where we met everybody, everybody met each other and we welcomed all the convention attendants. While everybody is running around here at the background preparing for the gala evening tonight, I just want to share uh, the first day, the business session, which started off by Eugene Lapont explaining to us how he, from a non-hunter, changed over to a hunter and later on started CITES, the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species. What a wonderful introduction he gave to our convention in 2023. We also welcome many dignitaries. First of all, John McLaren, the president of SEI, also with him Scott Talbot, the SEI Hunters and Outfitters Liaison Officer, as well as John Jackson also sent us a, a message and some words of encouragement on his work in the Conservation Force, especially his lobbying and advocacy in Washington. We're also blessed with the presence of Mpo Tijane from the Department of Environmental Affairs and Forestry which gave us the 22 uh, hunting statistics. A lot of interesting information came from that session. We explained roughly that the turnover, the income from hunting in last year's reporting period was around about 1.8 billion rand. He emphasized, or he also introduced us to the different areas where hunters came from, foreign hunters, as well as the species that were hunted. What was interesting in, in this in, uh, statistics was that the impala was one of the most hunted animals by foreign clients. But buffalo is still the highest earner in South Africa's hunting or foreign, uh, foreigners hunting in South Africa in 2022. Andre van der Westen, the chairman of the wing shooters, also gave a very interesting presentation where he also highlighted quite high income from wing shooting in South Africa. Now, the most interesting presentation, according to my view, was Prof. Piet van der Merwe's research results, which he announced at our session, which was a FASA Foundation-funded research project, where he described the impact of foreign and local hunters, the impact of wildlife ranching and ranch owners, as well as taxidermy in South Africa. 15.45 billion earning from in the hunting industry. Please follow FASA and Wilton Yachts digital platforms, as well as their Facebook pages, for more information on these results. In the last part of the afternoon session on Friday, especially our partners and alliance partners, Sustainable Use Coalition of Southern Africa, also presented or gave information on their organizations and how well we work together in this coalition. The evening of the Friday evening, we had a very interesting, fun evening with an 80s disco theme, and it was enjoyed by everybody. On the last day of the convention, Saturday, we opened the day with a wonderful speech by Dr. Tudi Jager of Sai, where he really rattled our cages and made us think about the future. After he completed his speech, we then started the Foundation AGM, the FASA Foundation AGM, where Ilza Yubar then gave us background and reported on all the activities of the Foundation in 2023. When the Foundation AGM concluded, we, went, we then started the FASA AGM, where we discussed various issues. We concluded a lot of issues, items at the IGM, most notably the election 
of new office bearers on the EXCO, as well as some constitutional changes. And what is wonderful, we have an app uh, developed where we do all our voting and decisions. What was wonderful with this app is that FASA members that couldn't attend this AGM could vote via this app remotely. I'm glad to announce and I want to congratulate Tony De Bruyne, the President-elect of FASA for 2023-2024. Barry York was also elected as Vice President while four new members were elected to the EXCO. Two ladies, Charmaine van Vieren and Nicole de Silva. Young man, Charles Harold, and our old stalwart, Tini Bamberger. Tonight's our gala evening, and it is an evening where the ladies can dress up nicely, the gentlemen can wear their bow ties. It's a formal evening where we will announce the awards. There were different awards that were judged by a panel of judges, after which we will enjoy a wonderful meal tonight. And after that, AWA will conduct an auction, which is also online, and we hope to accrue a large amount of money for especially the foundation to follow through our projects that we planned in future. This is a gala event, this is a prestige event, and we're going to enjoy the rest of the evening, especially after the auction, we're going to party further. I just want to thank my ex of 2023. What a wonderful group of guys. We achieved a lot, and I'm very proud of that. We achieved a lot for our focus, own your own future. Thank you for this opportunity to thank all the FASA members. And I wish you a wonderful hunting season in 2024.